Um, Lifey gave me mind control and then changed their answer to mind reading. I gave mind reading first. You copied my answer, Lifey. <laughs> also, there's a lot of hands that I don't understand. Like, I think Evil's voting on this, guys. Now, game two is a script that I've never actually seen before. You'll notice it has a plague doctor on it, so it's relatively new. This script is called Garden Party, and it was written by our storyteller for the second game this evening, which is none other than Off Meta's own Tyler. So we're going to give a shout out first to Off Meta. We're going to give a shout out, of course. I have to wait two minutes to give another shout out. That's so whack. Uh, if you guys are not watching Off Meta, I was trying to give a shout out to Tyler specifically. Um, so if you have not watched Off Meta, you've missed a lot of cool stuff on Off Meta. The Iron Chef script competitions are just fantastic. Um, yes, I have heard that, Ekin. Uh, I don't know the exact details of it, but I will tell you that I know something about it. And yes, if you are not subscribed to Off Meta's YouTube, there's some stuff happening. You should really check it out. Um, the stuff that they do is very unique. It's not always Clock Tower related. Yeah, the legendary scripts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Legacy series, Max Level Zero, gotta tell you, Legacy was just such a... It was such a cool project. It had its own podcast. Tyler put so much work into it. I was just, I was glued to the TV, well, to the phone, every week waiting for the next Legacy game. So yeah, uh, trust me, I get it. Um, so yeah, Tyler's got something in store for us, and it is an Alhad solo script. I have no idea what to expect. Alhad plus Plague Doctor is wild. So yeah, I'm going to head back, and we'll let Tyler do their thing. Forming sludge yeah uh like in in comic book logic if you go into the sludge carrying a bunch of scissors you will come out as you know like edward scissor hands right it's that's just the logic of the genre hey everybody uh, thanks for having me uh my name's tyler if we haven't met before i'm sorry i apologize i try to do my due diligence in meeting literally everyone uh but that's my fault we ready to play some games yes. or a game yes sure. uh, let's do it that's the level of enthusiasm I want on a Friday night. Yeah, I'm here for it. Let's go! All right. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. We're going to be playing a script called Garden Party version 4. Uh, so the big difference here from Garden Party scripts that I've done before is that it has the Plague Doctor in place of another outsider because uh, one of the themes of this is that the Alt Hadika does better um, against roles that aren't all that enthusiastic about dying. So I thought the Plague Doctor fit really well in that uh, in that design philosophy. So we're going to go ahead with that. If y'all are ready, I'm going to send you down to Cottages. Let's get this party started. Let's go! Cottages, man. Yeah, it's a throwback. All right, guys. What are we going to be? Camp has already started. I'm the Kang! I'm the Kang! Oh, I wish I had a crown of some kind that I can put on. Uh, All right, I am trying to think in... Playtest games and regular games. Have I ever been the king? I don't think I've ever been the king. Oh, I have to collapse that. Cottage cream. Hubris. Okay. I really hope we're not the marionette again. That was stressful. That was really stressful. Do we tell Ryback he's the king? Ryback is there. Hubris is the truest crown. Okay. I have to. I have to get Patters back for this beanie. I know exactly what I'm putting on. I know exactly what I am putting on Patters' beanie that he's going to get. Would Tyler do that to me on my own stream? Surely not, right? Nah, nah, no way. Ain't no way. No, not good leech. I have something even better planned for Patters. Obviously, Tyler, if you guys don't know, before Off Meta was doing um, the Sunday stream on TPI along with Capelli, uh, that was in the exact time slot that was really great for me to watch. So I, I really got... I probably watched those games more than the Thursday games in the early TPI streaming days, you know, during the pandemic. Um, and, uh, yeah, just got to talk into Tyler, and Tyler's a great guy. Um, and, you know, wanted to give a shout-out to Tyler, to uh, the music that Tyler creates, all the work that he does. Um, and, I mean, it's just great to have great to have him here. Um, I, I, like, I like seeing... One thing with storytelling, and I'm sure for those of you who do storytell in the chat, um, I think that situations like these are always good because it allows you to get more exposure to other storytellers and to learn techniques 
that you would not otherwise be able to learn. And really, I mean, this is like not groupthink, but what's the word I'm looking for? Um, brain, brain trust, brainstorming. Um, but it, 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 it's it's a really cool thing. Him to Turok, it's the other way around. Cho choir boy adds king, but there can be a solo king. In fact, on my totally fine, not scuffed script, uh, when the levy breaks, I believe I have solo king. I think I have king solo on that script. Um, but yeah, I, having so many other storytellers allows you to learn things that you would not otherwise learn, and techniques and little things that you can do to make the experience more enjoyable. Um, at Clock Tower Con, I got to play in one of Tyler's games. Uh, it was the Blind's, Blind Man's Bluff game, uh, and it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot of different things that I was doing differently, that I wanted to change, and, you know, uh... And I think that that's just great. I think having these other sources, these other uh, people around to be able to give you these pointers, um, it, it makes such a difference because it just it's it's all a way for us as the storytelling group, the community as a whole, to grow when we can all kind of work off of each other and eventually just kind of all up our game together. And uh, I'm just a big fan of that. You know, I'm a big fan of that. That is true, Asti, but it also works if they are drunk, which is weird. So if there's a drunk or a marionette uh, in the form of a choir boy or a huntsman, they still do their thing. Do you leave? No, you scared You're me. You're streaming? Oh, I scared you. Yeah. Well, I, I have spooked. good news for you. Sure. I killed everybody but like four people in the night, so I'm going to give you your information. You okay S with that? I mean, obviously I'm perfectly fine with a night zero boom dandy. Yeah, o yeah, off script, boom dandy. You do got you got to be bold when storytelling. You got to really mix it up. Can I ask really you a weird storyteller question? Sure, sure, sure. What happens if a uh, Sarah Mad boom dandy is executed during the night? Uh, I don't think the boom dandy says anything about it being during the day. So that's a you can but shouldn't. I think that that is a fair answer. Uh, or if you think it's funny, I mean, like. All right, so there's a lot of roles that I view as having like a diminishing return. So the yeah. first time somebody like some first time somebody gets a big goblin win, like everybody goes bananas. The second time everybody's like, okay. And then as time goes on, like there are some groups. Um, I did a thing, uh, a script doctor thing with somebody, and uh, she said her group they just they just don't even put goblin on a script. They won't run it. Or they'll they'll immediately execute into it. So, wow, uh, really? yeah, yeah, which seems counterintuitive to me, but you know, I mean, groups develop their own meta. So, I think you, I think you do something once, it's funny, and then if it happens a bunch of times or it just becomes a regular occurrence, people uh, kind of tune out and they want to go back to, you know, solving mysteries and rewriting histories and stuff. You know, sure, that makes sense. Ducktales, woohoo! Uh, but hey, uh, thanks for having me on this here stream. Appreciate you. It's a pleasure having you, Tyler. And I uh, think I am done with the night. Awesome. Good morning, town. Uh, if you think I should have awoken you but failed to do so, please feel free to message me in these here DMs. Uh, and I'll be happy to rectify the situation. I don't believe that happened. But, you know, I can make mistakes. Uh, you have been invited to a wonderful garden party in Connecticut. Uh, it's a beautiful time of year on, what well, is it? It's not really a peninsula. What is it? I don't know. It's, it's an a, appendage of New a, York State. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, you've been invited to a wonderful garden party in Connecticut. And uh, it just so happens that because of its proximity to WWE headquarters, we decide to have ourselves a little ruckus, a little brawling in the ring. The squared circle, uh, barbed wire deathmatch type of deal. And in that occasion, I have died why wasn't this gimmicked properly? Who knows? Anyway, uh, I am now dead, and it must have been a demon what done it, because I'm a professional, and that would have never happened otherwise. Please solve my death. Uh, I would like to publicly claim... Oh, Goblin's not in the script. Never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Appreciate Steve. the effort. Off to a great start. Hey, Wonder Molly Black, want to chat? Okay. Emma, would you like to chat? Absolutely, Demeter. Now, Emma, I've heard that you only signed up for this game so that you would be given an opportunity to lie to me. Is that a fair, fair thing to say? I seem to have lost you. Sorry, I forgot about Push to Talk. Gotcha. I think, yeah, I don't think we've played together since Clock Talk. It's been a long time. Uh, yeah, so I'm happy to lie. Uh, what sort of lie do you want, Tomato? I'll tell you that I'm the choir boy. Ooh, fun. Oh, that's perfect, because I'm the king, so we're 
you're confirming my existence. That's perfect. All right, so then this is good. We can just trust each other implicitly. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, cool. Hopefully I'll okay. get day two king information. Is that possible? Would you like, Not quite. Would, would you like to roll swap so that I can get targeted? Oh, wait, that doesn't work with king, obviously. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think that would work. Uh, okay, cool. All right, uh, I will... Do you want me to ch do you want me to go with anything so I can try to stay under the radar? Uh, you could claim uh drunk. I could just claim drunk. Yeah, it, it's possible you have the drunk token. Uh, the uh the grim scenarios copy pasta has just been put in our chat, just so you know. <laughs> oh, how like delightful! And I'm not there to put in the kill mode copy pasta. No, you're not. Oh, so all sorry. right. So I got the drunk token. I'll go along with that. Yeah, everyone will believe this and not think it's a lie. All right. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'm Maluba. Jason, Everybody let's talk. Yeah. Oh, Malisham, let's talk. Hello. Hello. Am I your marionette? No, you are not my marionette. You are not my marionette? Um, yeah, you know where near me is, so that's fine. Oh, those are yeah. clues, though. So. Okay, but no. Am I your marionette? No. Cool. Uh, I can tell so, you that uh, I am the Slayer, though. Ooh, I'll tell you I'm the Slayer as well. Dope. Can we slay each other? We could do that, but I, I don't want to use it, because I'm just going to choose live. Like, every, if, they, if the Al had picks me, I'm just going to choose live, and then get to final three and choose someone. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I can tell you that I actually dreamed you as something other than the uh, sla the Slayer, just so you know. Okay. That I might mean, be true. Technically, I suppose I did dream you as an evil role as well. Okay. Do you want so. to give me a hint of what you dreamed me as? Uh, I will tell you that it is in the top half. Okay. I don't want to narrow it down any further than that. Okay, that's fair. Um, I'm either the Slayer or something else that is not in the top half. So... I guess I can just die. Either then. you are, either you are not the dreamer, or you are the drunk, or that's about it. Sounds good to me. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Molly. Can you lie to me? Sure. Hello. Hello to me now. What would you like to? Uh, what would you like to discuss? What would you like to discuss? Give me something good. I'm fi trying to figure out what to gamble you as. Oh yeah, because you when you claim roles and it's just like, hey, tell me your role. You're always telling. I mean, I, d I did just hard claim, so, too, to be fair. I should definitely tell you my role, because you're the gambler, just like you were last game. You were both the gambler and the juggler. I was the gambler and the juggler last game. I had both abilities. Uh, let me put it like this, Davina. I am, like, the worst gamble imaginable. I am, like, the hardest confirmed good player on the script. You're the hardest confirmed good player on the script. I have never seen any more... Any more confirmation? My first two chats were just like, yeah, I confirm you're good. I'm like, yeah, cool. I am good. Nice. So you're the king? No. How the fuck are you confirmed? I don't want to out other people's stuff. But the first two people I talked to were just like, yeah, you're good. Okay. All right. I'll figure it out. So, you, um, so if, you, if you're actually the gambler, I don't think I'm a good gambler because I have other stuff backing me. Understood. People, ways to it. back other people. I got it. Thank you. Thanks. Jason, can I lie to you really quick? Yeah, let's go. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am good. I don't see any reason to keep this secret, uh, because evil already knows it. I am the king. You are the king. That's what you're claiming. That is what I'm claiming. It's really interesting, because I am, in fact, the king, so... What? Well, that sucks. It does suck. All right, well, I guess we're at an impasse, then. I guess one of us needs to die. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could just let them do it, but that's fine, though. Do you want to do, like, an evil twin thing where we're, like, evil twins, but we just, like, don't acknowledge it and don't release it to town? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I, I love the idea, too, of pretending to be an uh, evil twin on a character that they would definitely know. But we can do it quietly. Fair. Oh, we got dragged. My answer to your question, Jason, is, yeah, let's, yes. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if I'll do that throughout the game, but I sure do miss dragging players back to town <laughs> when whispers are through. Uh, with that, I'm going to open the floor for public declarations and especially juicy, juicy nominations. And honks. Mm -hmm. And honks. Uh, I would like to claim that I am going to nominate someone. That's bold. <laughs> uh, I'll claim I Slayer and Shoot Demeter. Who is that now? Uh, Emma will claim Slayer and Shoot Demeter. Emma has claimed Slayer. What's your weapon of choice, Emma? Uh, clout. Thank you, Kev. Clout, you uh, go months. on to Instagram and TikTok and X, and you post just the best stuff, the fanciest things. Boy, you are tricked out. 
you have all the clout that the internet has to offer. And we all know what that's good for, because when you swing it at Demeta, nothing happens. Demeta would like to claim Slayer uh, and shoot Emma. Weapon of choice, Demeta. Anti-clout. Anti-clout. You are a uh, dark side style figure. You rest on a planet with your evil eternal style people, and you are fuming at this clout that's brought by the Kryptonians to the planet Earth, and you have devised... Mm -hmm. Ah, the anti-clout, and you bring it down with your drones, and uh, it doesn't really do a whole lot, because, I mean, people people don't like too much clout, but too little clout? Ha, huh, nothing happens. I claim I Slayer. Like to, uh, Maya would like to claim Spy and Stab Siv, please. Uh, Maya, you claim Spy and Stab Siv? Yeah. Bold move. Uh, nothing happens. Uh, am I allowed to claim Slayer and, and slay myself? Yes, uh, yes. The Slayer cannot be valid? both the Slayer and the Demon. On this script. <laughs> on this script, yeah. Darn it. There is there is only one mechanical way that uh, that can happen, and that's not anything that's released. So No, that's incorrect. A Slayer no, could be holding Little Monster. Little Monster. Oh, okay. There you go. May I nominate? Uh, I believe nominations were open from the moment I said, let's go. Demeta nominates. No one, because there's a witch on this script. Is that a denomination? That's not an active nomination. Is it? No, it's not. Uh, okay. Emma nominates Demeta. Emma has nominated Demeta. Uh, Emma has died. Go forward with your <laughs> nomination, please. Uh, well, before I go forward with that, uh, I'm going to claim Klutz and pick Mullabok. Uh, Emma, you claim Klutz and pick Mullabok, and the game continues. Remind me how to do nominations on this tool. Sorry. You click on the name. Okay. The name, not the token. Got it? All right. And on Demeda. Yeah, going to turn this down to not three seconds. All right. Emma, please state your case. Yeah, I mean, Demeda's just clearly the witch, right? Uh, Demeda? Uh, yeah, I'm the witch, clearly. It'll take five votes to put Demeda on the block. Vote's going to start with seven. Vote's going to start now. I'll break Demeda, this time do you think Emma's the self cursing witch? Absolutely. Yeah. It's on brand. <laughs> Who clips pick the demon? Got it. Okay. We should kill Six Mullabok. is enough. Demeda sits upon the block. Any other I'm nominations actually, today? I'm actually a really bad kill. Evil already knows why I'm a why I'm a bad kill. They were informed night one of why I'm a bad kill. You could be drunk. Sure. Any other Demeda, nominations? Demeda, you did put the sixth vote on yourself. I did because of you know, well, I wanted to make it. But yeah. Um, Monica nominates Lifey. Monica has nominated Lifey, and Monica has survived. Please tell us why you've nominated Lifey, though. Um, get this thing to work the way I want to. Demeta today, too. Uh, if Demeta is indeed a good character that Evil already knows about for, uh, I guess there's only the one reason. Um, then, you know, we should keep Demeta around, at least for now. Also, Demeta always dies early, and that's no fun. Uh, and Lifey claimed a superpower that only an evil person would use. So let's kill Lifey. Lifey, is all of this true or uh, relevant? Yeah. <laughs> um, but can I change the controlling part to the reading part? So it's less evil doing Also, Harpy isn't on this script, so I'm clearly good. Fair. Also, I'm empath confirmed. All right. So, yeah. It'll take... Seven votes to put Lifey on the block. Vote's going to start with West. Vote starts now. I'm not sure I trust I that. Believe Life okay. I can't believe Lifey's the Serenobis. <laughs> Four is not enough. Lifey is safe for today. Any other nominations? It's okay, Lifey. You can control my mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, somewhere a town crier is very thankful because there's only been two nominations. I'm going to close the day in five, four, three, two, one. Mm. Demeta, how would you like to die? Um, erotically. Erotically. Well, you know what? It wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be a Connecticut game, a CT game, if there wasn't some eroticism. Uh, you tr have transported back into the plot of a 1994 Scott Bakula film when he was trying to transition from TV to movie stardom. So that means he had to do some really sexy stuff. He had a full 
uh, ch- full chest load of hair. He's strapped to a bed. Oh, but is Demeta truly a murderer? Is Scott Bakula actually tied down? Have you transported minds and bodies? That's right. You have been trapped in Scott Bakula's body and then stabbed to death by Scott Bakula, who took over your body. And with that, Demeta has died. Fuck. And the game continues. Everybody go to sleep. I guess I don't have to do the night thing on here. Right. Sorry, I was responding to a text. It was very erotic. Yeah. Yeah, the Quantum Leap guy. Uh, excuse me. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. The Quantum Leap guy? You mean Captain Jonathan Archer of the USS Enterprise? NX? These people. I'd love to be Al had picked. Yeah, the unnecessary roughness dude. <laughs> uh, Navian, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I got this. I got this. Hang on. You can sing along. It's not going to be on the VOD. See, the redemption understands. I'd show the video, but I know that would actually get me the MCA. This is the correct way to spend a night phase, just so everybody knows. There we go. Good shit. Yeah, sorry, Navian. This is going to be a happening. You, know, you just got to deal with it. I, I remember that one, but the song is, yeah. Hey, everybody, for me to use this tool for these purposes, I need you to either message me, but I'm going to go ahead and announce so everybody remains silent. The Al Hadik demands silence. Mullah Buck, message me with life or death. Siv, message me with life or death. I mean, yeah, Micah, but this works. I'm going to get my DMs ready. Slug, message oh, me with me. life or death. It is more dramatic. Now back to bed, my sweet peas. Good night. Bye. All right, so now that we've had that lovely break, actually, let me try something really quick. All right, I'm going to have an ECG video playing. I just need to test the audio. Give me a second. By the way. You should be going to ECG. Can I get some grim scenarios copy pastas, please? Defeated, written by, wait for it, Emma! <laughs> yeah, this. No. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Or exclamation point grim scenarios. I haven't seen Picard yet. So, newer Star Trek shows that I've seen, I've seen almost all of discovery uh we stopped watching kind of midway through the fourth season uh still need to finish lower decks i have seen none of picard i have seen none of strange new worlds but uh i have heard mixed things now about picard so uh if jason is the pixie king lower decks is fantastic if jason is the pixie king then we are we're in business. I kept telling Navian that Lower Decks is actually probably the best Star Trek series, and Navian didn't believe me. Good morning, town. You awaken to find some sad news. Siv has died in the night. Slug has died in the night. Interesting. That's... Can I speak with Slug? Is this an innkeeper situation, y'all? Strange. I will follow you, Demeta. Yeah. And... Why would you vote to die? I did not. I chose to live. So Molly Bach chose to live as well, so it must have been in kept? I guess. I think that's the only explanation. Interesting. Okay. Uh would you like to share what you were? Um sure, I was the dreamer. Who did you dream? I am going to keep that to myself for now. Okay. Um mm... I will tell you that I have, I'm like 95% sure that I've confirmed the player that I've dreamt. I'm assuming it was Mullibar. As good, possibly. Okay. All right. Um, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, I can tell you that I was the king. You mean you still are the king? I'm dead. Oh, you are dead. That's right. Yeah, we actually did yesterday. I mean, I figured you were the king. Um, I am like 95% certain this is a spy game. Because you're the dreamer? Because of who was picked last night. Okay, so what do you know about Civ? I am not going to share either of the claims from either of the other two players. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm sorry, that's just fine. not... If you have anything that you would like to share eventually, feel free to reach out to me. Absolutely. Thank Bye. You. Sure. Can I speak with Malishan? Yeah, let's go. Hello, Badger. How's it going? Uh, it is good. What are you? Slayer. Like, for real, for real? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I figure if I just keep... If I tell everyone I'm going to choose Liv, then there's a good chance I can get to pretty close to final three and have a decent shot, because there's nothing evil can do about it. If time just makes keep me. Unless if, I go on a night. 
but he's just like if there's not a spy even if there's a spy like they know i'm a, they they can pick me but i can choose left so unless they coordinate like killing like the spy and me and another evil player or something and everyone chooses Liv. Mm. Okay. and i'll take that and i'll take that trade if they want to kill both minions and me fine Okay, all right. Um. Well, I was the king, in case you didn't know. I mean, that's what I put down when you said that evil knew who who you were. Um. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, we're we're good then. Uh, I I yeah. don't know who to, I don't know who to shoot. So sorry. I got some ideas. I mean, I I've, I've got two potential empaths. Okay. Well, so that's that's probably see what, worth see what they both to, Yeah. See who that what they both have to say for themselves today. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Cool. Uh, Discovery's first season, yeah, was probably the best. The Klingon War, yeah, that was probably the best. I think the 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 the, the red signals, yeah. And then once the thing happened between season two and season three, I was kind of I was kind of out. May I speak with? Oh, I've spoken with all of you. Anybody want to talk to me? Uh, Malishan, you want to talk? Oh, Emma. Molly, back. Can we catch up? Sure. After I plugged your stream. May I speak with Maya? Oh, I wanted to speak with other people, but only because of a funny bit. If you want to speak with me, you can. I mean, I love funny bits, but yeah. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to tell both my neighbors that they are now my marionette. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, so are you claiming Al Hadikia? Um, not to you. I mean, actually, sure. I'll claim Al Hadikia. Okay. Um, you could claim it to me, though, because I'm the king, and you know that. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I read place registered as the al Hadiki and learned that you were the king on night one. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so what's your clockmaker number? Um, uh, my clockmaker number, well, if you gave it to me right now, it would be one, because either Monica or Sivan is my marionette. Sure. Um, okay. Now, like, on night one, there would have been a three from me to Malabat, because Emma's the self-cursing witch. That tracks. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Oh no, we got dragoned. We've all come home to roost. Molly, question. Was one Monica? No. Interesting. Okay. Hey all. Uh, I'm the Plague Doctor. That's why I chose Liv. This sucks. Uh, that does suck. I have a public announcement. Monica, you are now my marionette. That is all. All righty. Any nominations with these public statements? Oh, yeah, Sivan, you're also now my marionette. Both of you are. Uh, Sivan, did the thing that we talked about happen night one? Um, okay, great. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't remember. Oh. The interest, the more interesting thing. No, that did not. Okay, then... Okay. Would someone be a deer uh... and nominate malachon jason will wow. nominate malachon fm jason nominates malachon and fm jason has lived to tell the tale please tell us why you've nominated malachon uh, i'll pass it to domino uh sussy baka malachon your defense i'm just a slayer i'm gonna choose live because unless everybody who's picked with me chooses live there's nothing evil can do about me all right the vote's gonna begin with malabok it'll take four votes gonna start now so. well i'm not gonna waste a dead vote on it i mean are you really convinced of this debate i will vote on it eh. three is not enough malachon is safe for today any other nominations today just a little bit of social engineering that's all Ooh, monica nominates works. maya monica has nominated maya please tell us why um I agree if i mean i don't i don't think the marionette thing is is real in any way maya's just playing in a chaotic fashion um if i am to believe that emma and mullabach are good um the confirmation pair is already split um malachan seems to be okay to let live for a while um running out of places to put a red token and so maya might just actually be evil maya your defense it's like the demon can't do anything about me unless everyone the other people I'm picked with choose left, so I will be choosing left. The votes could begin with Monica. It'll take four to put Maya on the block. Vote starts Just now. Hand of the demon triple kills. Cool. Three is not enough. Maya is safe for yeah. today. Any other nominations? Lifey nominates um, Monica. Lifey, you've nominated Monica? Yeah. Please tell us why. Uh, she copied my answer. 
Monica, are you looking on Lifey's paper? Um, Lifey gave me mind control and then changed their answer to mind reading. I gave mind reading first. You copied my answer, Lifey. <laughs> also, there's a lot of hands that I don't understand. Like, I think Evil's voting on this, guys. Um, I'm um, a good townsfolk. Let me I live. Actually, I actually have a good uh, case, though. Um, okay. Yeah, seems, go ahead. Seems uh, Monica seemed too uh, willing to nominate Maya. Like, there was no witch concern at all. Um, so, yeah. I thought Monica trying to get permission from Demita to, like, oh, if you really want to vote for the same, well, that, that was excessive and not really good aligned thinking, I thought. The votes could begin with Malice, Sean. It'll take four to put Monica on the block. Vote starts now. Like, Demita clearly wanted that. If you wanted to vote for Demita, you put your hand up. You don't make a show about asking him if he wants it. Just a small correction for Monica's defense. She's actually an evil minion. She's not a good townsfolk. Four is enough. Monica is on the block. Any other nominations today? I mean, this is a useless kill at best. Do we know what ability we're losing? I'm going to close the day in five, four, three, two, one. Monica, how would you like to die? Uh, lashed to a stake and burned alive, please. You order up a lash to the steak, and it comes out medium rare. It is a perfect steak. I mean, I'm talking 32 ounces, all the gristle cut off of it. It is trimmed and fit. You are tied to it. And then somebody says, somebody sends this perfectly cooked steak back with you tied to it and says, this is way too undercooked. It's barely, it's raw. And they throw it back on the grill with you tied to it. Can you believe it? Monica has been executed. Monica has died. The game continues. Everybody go to sleep. Bye. All right. I think that was an evil execution. The Lash Tutha. Ooh, how does that look on the stream? Surprisingly okay. We don't get the clouds very often. I'm not guys. following chat, so I'm just saying, are they having a good time? Everybody having a good time out there tonight? You got some brews? You got some brewskis? I don't know why it's the Midwest. You're... Uh, so brewskis actually are probably pretty popular water. Definitely. We are very big fans of staying hydrated here in Connecticut. That's kind of a big thing for us is staying hydrated. Um, I like it. And I, I'm, I would say that brewskis do, they pop up pretty, pretty frequently. And I'm pretty sure that everyone, yeah, everyone in chat is having a lovely time. Okay. I like, I like the rhythm of some of the nominations and defense. My nomination, joke reason, somebody responds. I actually had a real reason. Like, oh, I probably would have led with that, but uh, you That do doesn't you. really seem on brand for us. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you. Well, I don't want spoilers, guys. I don't want to hear about a show I haven't actually watched yet. I will say that if it's about nostalgia and playing on the, you know, the, the old, you know, playing on all of that stuff, that's okay. I'm not just not going to read it, The Redemption. Um... But that said, if that were the case, Lower Decks just does it better. I mean, Lower Decks literally is like a Trek show for Trek nerds. If you are a fan of Trek, there are references and jokes in that show that only Trekkies will get. I, I think that that's the best part of that show. Is that it? It's it's like you can tell that it's a labor of love. And for what people have told me that a lot of the nostalgia or the fan service, I guess you could say, of Picard, from what I've heard, seems very fabricated. And see, it doesn't really feel very genuine. That's been the complaint that I've heard a lot. I don't know how true that is. Again, I haven't watched it. But what is up, my dude, Cosmo? How's it going? Uh, Cosmo and I have not been playing any games on BGA recently. Adik demands silence! Uh, the Al Hadik has chosen, and they have chosen in this order. Jason, select life or death. Yeah, it's a spy game. West, select life or death. Is Molly just evil? Lifey, select life or death. Uh, oh, that's that's fair, Matt. That's fair, Micah. Maybe it is just bare. Everyone, much. sweet dreams. Let's go back to sleep. Bye. Bye. Go back to sleep. Bye. I have I have this too far on my down my. A soothing voice sounds so familiar. Yeah, it does. A good voice. Oh yeah. Uh, if they learn the ability, then yeah. Sivan is currently the Alhad candidate. Um, how do the deaths play out tomorrow? It's going to be able to confirm whether that where where the innkeeper may be. That is Tyler from Tyler TTV, otherwise known as Off Meta. I still think that Mal is the best demon candidate. I I do agree with that. If Monica was spy or not spy, if Monica was Baron, Emma could just be the self cursing witch. But I don't know. I don't know if I see that. That is Tyler from Off Meta. Yes, the one and only. Chat. Can I get some honks in the chat? Can I get some some honks? Let's actually bring up our. Yeah, uh, that's one of my favorites. My favorite though is still the hello honk. 
Good morning, town. You awaken from your slumber to find sweet, sweet lifey has died in the night. What a metaphor. Hmm. The day has begun. Mm -hmm. All right. Lifey, can we chat? You wanted to chat the other day anyway. So that means, uh, Wes, would you like to talk? Sure. Lifey chose death. Monica, I would like to check in with you. Sure, let's... I have nothing to contribute this game, unfortunately. I'll contribute the truth to you if you want. Uh, sure. Which is? Which is that I'm the barber. That's a lot of outsiders. Mm Mm-hmm. All four uh, outsiders seem to have been claimed that aren't drunk, from what I understand. Interesting. I don't know what the record is, but I'm gathering there is one, because the only person I told I was the barber was Jason, and Mm. several people said they'd heard of the outsiders. Okay. I'll buy it. Um, Which, I mean, it could... It could be an outsider hiding and there's a drunk. It could be an evil hiding amongst the outsiders and there's a drunk. But I almost wonder if Tyler put all face of outsiders in. That's totally possible, yeah. I mean, the innkeeper's confirmed. I think I know who that is. So it kind of narrows it down to a couple of people for me. Oh, I have no idea who the innkeeper is, but that's fine. All right, uh, I will head oh. back to town. Thanks. Bye. I kind of want to follow up at some point. But... That's it. These are all people that I have never... I mean, no, I've talked to Simon, but I've not talked to Jason or Wes, okay. so sure that I know. Should probably um, try to talk to Jason. I uh, mean, I feel like Molly's good. Either you want to chat? Just join back? Go ahead, Jermaine, or shall I? Go ahead. Uh, let's go, Seth. All right. My, um, I or Marionette? Um, that would be kind of hard, wouldn't it? My, I don't know. Chat? Yes, we can. Still claiming Dreamer? Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay. May Am I speak... I- May I speak with Sivan? Sure, Demeda. What are you? I am your fortune teller. What do you got? Uh, night one, you and Maya, yes. Maya is claiming recluse. Night two, SL and Monica, no. Night three, Malishan and Lifey, no. It's too many recluses. The single recluse? No, I have a recluse suspicion elsewhere. Oh, interesting. I have not heard of any other recluses. Hmm, okay. Uh, I was the king, in case that wasn't clear. Yeah, I figured. Um, That's all I got. I got no info this game. I am an NPC. Fun. Well, hey, you're along for the ride. That's what counts. Yay. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. I, yeah. Hmm. Uh, SL, could we chat? Yeah, I am confirming the same thing as you, Monica. Uh, let's go, Sive. Demeta. Lead the way, Jason. Hello. Pixie King? No. Oh. Innkeeper. Ah, uh, okay. So I, was, I had you as Pixie King. I was so happy. I was definitely going for Pixie King. Uh, but no. Um, just, uh, right. just an innkeeper. Uh, I protected uh, Malishan and Mullabok, and then Mullabok and West. And West survived either yes. way last night. Okay. Yeah, I, I just just was just talking to West. I think West chose life, so I didn't protect uh West, or I didn't save West, but um. I did uh, save Mullibox. Do you know what Mullibox is? Uh, I have no clue what Mullibox is claiming. Uh, I just, uh, you know, I didn't have a lot of choices. Emma had Klutz picked Mullibox, and I was like, hey, if that's a real pick, then I'll just protect Mullibox. Okay. All right. Um, I am. I got nothing. So I just think that it's either Sivan or Malishan at this point. Uh, I agree. I want to go after Malishan today. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at for that. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. you can't drag us, we dragged ourselves. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like that you maintained your own agency. Yes. It do be like that. Tyler, how are you how are you enjoying your time here? Um a lot more meditative, I think. Only like uh, not seeing faces and not actually running stream, just like kind of running game and listening to people and all that kind of stuff. It's a little bit uh different vibe. Different Chill. vibe. Different from, like, a little bit. Running the stream on the new app versus story time on the old app. Storytelling on the old app does have its problems. Yeah, I used. I mean, well, I use this a lot for Legacy. Um, I mean, I used it a lot. Period. Once upon a time, um, there are things I like it a lot, a lot more about it, and I wish they would implement. But I, I understand why they didn't in the new app. But it still, nonetheless, there, there's some neat little aspects of this one. We had some plug. Some a friend of mine made some cool plugins for for us before we switched over to the new app. So. Everybody's back! Do nothing. Alrighty, with that, I'm going to open the floor for public declarations and then nominations. Lifey claims Klutz and picks Molly. Lifey <laughs> has claimed Klutz <laughs> and picked Mullabook. <laughs> yeah. Game continues. Oh. Lifey, are you the dead evil? <laughs> no, I'm just fooling around. Uh, I'll claim Klutz and pick Molly. Hmm.
<laughs> Malshawn is alive, and thus that is not an effective play. I would be willing to spend a dead vote on Sivan. I'd like to see a Slayer shoot Sivan first. But I'd also do Sivan's fine. I think West is more likely a demon candidate than Sivan. I don't. I suspicious of both. Let me just put it like that. I, that. That's my two as well. Like one of the, I'm good with either of those two. Yeah, we yeah shoot either one of us, clear one of the worlds, and we'll kill into the other. Because it's just I think that's the only way we're going to find it. If it's if if yeah if you are the slayer. I mean Maya has a fortune teller yes so. I've heard I have both a fortune teller yes and a fortune teller no on me. Yeah, oh. uh, not all of those fortune tellers are good at this point in the game, right? It's just incredibly unlikely. I think only right. one of the fortune tellers is good at most. I'm not I'm making the fortune teller. I got a maybe on myself and someone else. That, that tracks. <laughs> you got a half reading of demon. <laughs> Lifey, yeah. were you honest with me? Yeah. In our private convo? Okay. Yep. A pink hearing, perhaps. I will just say, Lifey, that your your claim your claim to me in private is in conflict with the statement that you just made in public. I could be the alcoholic. Yeah, that's true. I have heard of three outsiders, so you could be the fourth. I think we have four face up outsiders claims. So if we do, we? I I have three. Interesting. Yeah, I'm missing the fourth. I'm also missing the fourth. Well, I'm missing all of you because. I want to hear either a nomination. I understand that it's five alive in an Al Hadid game. Could be final day. There's Who knows? Oh, it there's could six. be if we execute them as three deaths. Yeah, so it yeah, can yeah. be final day. It can be final day. All right. With that, are there any nominations? Well, I feel like I'm strong, which means I don't really want to be the one to nominate. Um, Maya nominates West. Maya, you've nominated West. Please tell us why. Um, vibe check. Vibe check. Yeah. West, how are your vibrations doing? Uh, that's fine. I told, I think, everybody today what I am. If we want to kill me, declare this world, and then um, Malish and choose Sivan. And if that doesn't happen, then that's, I think, where the evil is, in my opinion. So we can get me out of the way, and that clears up this world, and then move on. The vote's going to begin with Siv. It'll take three to put West on the block. Vote starts now. West, so since you're so public, and you're a blank in my grim, can you tell me what you are? Yeah, I'm the Philo who went fortune teller night too. So I've been I was told there was another fortune teller, but I've yet to have talked to them. So I don't That is I'm... conveniently me. Three is enough. West is on the block. Any other nominations today? Last night I got a yes on Malishan and Siphon. So that's that's all I got. So after I'm dead and then we go other places, that's where to go. Would someone nominate Malishan? Uh Siphon will nominate Malishan. Siphon has nominated Malishan. Please tell us why. Interesting. I'll pass the tomato. Uh West brings up a good point. If Sivan, West, and Malishan are the ones that are on the block, and Malishan is indeed the uh, Slayer, then yeah, they probably should be Slayer shooting the other candidate. Malishan, your defense. I am not the Slayer. I actually, I think Sivan's the kill here, but I'm fine with West to clear. I think it's one of Sivan and West, so, but I'm not the Slayer. The vote's going to begin with Malabuk. It'll take four to put Malishan on the block. Vote starts now. Well, even in an odd brand of street clock tower, two is not enough. Malishan is safe for today. Any other nominations? West will nominate Sivan. West has nominated Sivan. Please tell us why. I figured if I was Witch Curse, I was about to die anyway, so that didn't matter. Um, and for me, oh, it's oh, either oh my bad, my bad. Uh, West nominates Sivan, and West is alive. Please continue your nomination. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, yeah, so in my world, it's either Malishan or Sivan. I don't know what Malishan is now, if they're not Slayer. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah. So, uh, again, fine that I'd do this later, but I figured that way we could at least test the witch, boy, the, the witch cursing, if, see if I had it, and then you would rather go Sivan today. I also didn't fall I'd rather for go Sivan today, obviously. Sivan, your defense. It was good effort, though. Um, unfortunately, I realize that I'm a demon candidate here. Um, at least from my perspective, I feel like we have three evils alive, and I feel like West is likely a good candidate. Uh, also that West is claiming my role in, or, well, claiming to have drunk my role on night two is not helping my perception of them. Vote's gonna begin with Maya. It'll take four to put Sivan on the block. Vote starts now. I'm typing up my fortune teller info for chat. I am so surprised that Monica did vote it. I really okay. hate that. Okay, we, um... Okay, Yeah, cool. that's <laughs> Oh, all right. Uh, okay, we go west tomorrow. 
Yeah. Three is a tie. Sivan is safe. West is safe. Malastar is safe. Any other nominations today? My, I thought that Monica was really like projecting that uh, dead vote. I don't think you needed to vote there either. I think that was. Uh, that, I... that, that that makes you look I... bad to my eyes. It's, just, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, just, I it's putting on me. That's all. I didn't. I did not know. I didn't see the projection. Okay. Any other nominations? Yes. Gonna, gonna close the day in five, four, three, two, oh, one. Maya. one. No one has been executed. Thus. No one dies. Everybody, let's go to sleep. The game continues. I think that was a double bluff by Monica. Oh yeah, Vortox win without the Vortox. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like Mollybox response. I nope, don't like that. Oh, nice. Drunk Empath with a zero on the demon? Sure. I know, Navian, I know, but it didn't read socially good. I don't like that because if Molly is actually confirmed good, they're doing things that tickle my senses the wrong way. That means I'm out of tune. I don't like it. Molly thinks that Monica's the witch. Yeah, I mean, I... I would imagine that there's probably a safe, that is a very safe world to live in. So much so, I'm going to put it on. Hey, give her the hat. A big pointy hat. This is interesting. So what was the Plague Doctor ability that gave someone the spy? Jason's going to get picked first again, I'm sure. Yeah, Scarlet Woman's probably a good play. Good shout. Sivan very well could just be the Alhad. The way that that vote went suggests that he is, but I think that that's a double bluff. I think Monica wasted that dead vote to make it seem like West was, but it might actually just be Sivan. I would let y'all talk. I just want you to know that. I'm a nice, I'm a nice substitute. I'm a nice stepdad. But the Alhadik demands silence! And the Alhadik is chosen, so message me with your life or death. Jason! Has to pick Liv. Sean has to pick death, probably. Molly book should pick death. And now you may all go back to sleep, deep sleep. If Mel is good, they should have probably said die. If Molly is good, hmm. the bear. No one came out as turning into an outsider. So either there was a starting Baron or the Plague Doctor didn't give the Baron ability. This is actually going to be really telling if Molly dies. I think it's a double bluff. We think it might have been Spy, but it might not necessarily have to be. Slug thinks it is. It could have just been which Baron. You are still watching a Clock Tower stream, yes, Double Nick. It's just, when it's player, when it's player perspective, there sometimes is some dead air. Notably, the Innkeeper was not the first picks. Well, the Innkeeper, yeah, so that's true. They have been since, since basically an Innkeeper was confirmed. Uh, executions this game were me, then Monica, then uh, no one. Numb. Yeah, Emma died from a witch. That was the only witch kill, however. I'm assuming there was a someone witch cursed on day two, but then we executed Monica. I'm just, I, I don't see Monica as not being the witch. That is correct. Yeah, I still think it's Sivan. I think the West thing was a was a double bluff. In a spy world, now is evil. Yeah, because they would have killed the barber. Well, maybe they're saving the barber. I don't know. Maybe they're saving the barber for tonight. The war that world exists. There's some motivation for that. Is Emma the klutz? If it was a starting baron, Maya the recluse, Malsha the barber. Maybe there isn't actually a baron. Maybe they're just all fucking lying. Maybe it's just recluse drunk. Oh yeah, so there's some shit happening. Mollybuck probably died, and there's a barber swap. I, I don't think it is either, Navian. I'm saying that it's possible. If Emma and Malishan are both evil, why would the knight take the same? I'm, I don't want to meta that, though. Yeah, but if you became an outsider later on that's not a drunk, you would have announced it, surely. Good morning, town. You awaken to find... <sighs> it's brutal. Oh, it's man. a bloodbath. Jason has died. Malishan has died. Mollybuck has died. Oh no! Yeah, and then there were three. Now it really is a fifty-fifty. Because hello everyone, I was the barber. Yeah, I chose die to try to keep you alive. Yeah, I was. I assume Jason had protected you both since you were both clearly dead, and um, I was hoping that hadn't happened. Molly chose die. You yeah, chose me. die, Molly. Of course I did. I wanted to keep the barber alive. Okay, I chose live. So that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. I chose Jason Liv and died anyway. Jason and Keith were protected both. Oh, yeah. And Keith were both of us, and then we all died. Yeah. Be, 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 be. Yeah, I go first, so it doesn't matter what I do with, we, with it. I mean, I choose death, and then it's like the possibility of it all. It's just, it's not a good situation. I also yeah. don't know who's yeah. getting picked after me. So Then how did Mal live, or how did Mal die? I chose uh, life, but I'm just saying because... if I choose death, then it. It depends on what happens after. So, at the end of phase one, they were all still alive because Jason had chosen life, and the innkeeper protection prevented Mullabar from dying. So then, in phase two, they mm -hmm. died. Then you die. Oh, 
So if both Jason and Molly had chosen die, then Mal, Mal would have lived. Oh yeah, it's not if all choose live, it's if all live. Yeah. yeah. So the Lifey is just the drunk because West is evil and Maya is evil because the outsiders are me, Lifey, Siv, and yep. Mal. Yep. It's just whether they swapped, whether West is, it's whether it's West or Maya now because they could have ever swapped. Yeah. Lifey is an outsider. Lifey's the drunk yeah. because they have a zero on West. This is okay. Are we round robining? We probably probably worth it. Probably. I was the barber. Molly. Nice. <laughs> Push to talk. Molly Book is taking a stand against round robbing. We can go the other way. Or you can just skip them. Yeah, we'll okay. go to Lifey. Uh, I'm the empath with a zero. Nice. Uh, uh, philosopher turned in fortune teller on night two because I did not hear from one. Did not hear about it until after the fact. My info is all in chat. Uh, not before night one, night two. Night three, I tried to pick Malishan and Maya, got told to pick again, and then I. Uh, picked Maya and Sivan and got a yes. Shocking. I'm the Plague Doctor. Uh, we'll say that I did hard claim to West Day 1. I was claiming Gambler elsewhere. I don't know why I was picked, because if it was just West, that might be why. Uh, I was the innkeeper. The only kind of relevant thing was that I picked uh, uh, saved Mullabach on night 2. Uh, I'm your klutz. I picked Mullabach because he was the only person who got a, I got a good vibe on day 1. I was your dreamer. Night one, I dreamt Mollybach, the Oracle, or Marionette. Hey, Rich. I'm the king. I got no info. I am your starting fortune teller. Night one, Maya and Demeta. Maya's claiming recluse. Night two, SL and Monica. No. Night three, Malishan and Lifey. No. Night four, West and Emma. Yes. Good to see you, homie. So, Sivan's info tells us that West is the demon unless Emma's the red herring. Uh, okay, uh, well... You forgot about my very important claim. I'm the starting baron. Oh, yep. uh, I'm the pixie, and I saw an oracle. I really wish you had not been by yesterday, both. I think yeah, everybody they... that's going to announce their roles has done so. Siphon's info, yeah. The only way it's not West is if Emma's the Red Herring, and if Emma's the Red Herring, there's nothing we can do to solve it. So. Or Siphon's the evil one. Well, Siphon's evil, but I don't believe that. Yeah. Why would you make the king the Red Herring? That's so rude. All right, so it's like a what? A 50-50 at this point? I think it's like 60-40. I think it's more likely West because of Simon's info. Well, in my eyes, it's 100-0, but well, I, 99-1, I'll say that. Um, <laughs> if it's, yeah, if it if it's not, it's specifically because either Maya was the starting demon and they did, and they didn't swap or they swap, in fact, and, or, yeah, that's the only, that doesn't, yeah, it's the only world, I think, is where Maya's the starting demon and then they didn't swap last night, and Emma's the Red Herring. That's the only world where Simon's info doesn't make it West. Um, yeah, so I'd go. For, I'd vote on West because it's most likely. It's not 100%, but it's far more likely. Are nominations open? All day, baby. All uh, day. Simon will nominate West. Yeah. Simon has nominated West, and Simon has successfully nominated West. Please tell us why. Um, I think just based on the round robin and how things have played out, I think it's most likely that Wes is the demon here. Um, Wes, if you're not the demon, um, I'm sorry, but, uh, good job, evil, for that play. Wes, your defense. It, it doesn't matter what I say. I'm gonna die here, so it just, it just kill me. It's fine. Game over. The vote's gonna begin with Civ. It'll take two. Vote starts now. And eight is enough. It can't be beat. West, how would you like to die? Um, with the entire cast of Off Meta, a great Blood Clock Tower channel. <laughs> uh, yeah, we gather up, uh, everybody. You, you've gotten to come to Off Meta offline, and you, you, you're. It's so exciting. You're getting into a a bunk bed with a a a, a ginormous man named Duke. It's somewhat frightening, but also thrilling. And uh, it's then that you're, everybody walks in and goes, Hey, West, we think you're a demon. And we beat you to death. What a way to invite somebody into the club. West has been executed. West has died. And I can confirm that the game is over. Congratulations to Sivan's team. Who else is on Simus, Sivan's team? Demeta is on Sivan's team. Mm, who else might be... Emma Ooh. is on Sivan's team. Congratulations to you three and the rest of the good team. Yeah. Hooray.
Woo! All righty, so let's go through uh, our roles now. We had, oh, that wasn't the right button. Yeah, as you guys saw there, West was your demon, who got a ton of kills in. Good job, West. You killed like seven, eight people. Pretty good. Uh, so on the on the West bluff were Pixie, Philosopher, Chambermaid, Maya was the witch who cursed Emma, but it was Tomato that apparently goaded Emma into nominating. Uh, so. Thanks. Uh, Monica was your baron who added a couple outsiders to the mix. So we had Siv, the plague doctor, who died there near the end, giving Monica, sadly, the Scarlet Woman ability that never came into play because they were executed on the next, uh, next day. Malachan was your barber who was picked in the final night. Uh, the demon chose not to swap anyone. Uh, so that was the end of that. I was hoping maybe there would be something, because I haven't done this with the plague doctor before. I was hoping maybe... The barber might swap the plague doctor back into play, kill it again, do some fancy stuff with that. Give give uh give me a lot of extra abilities. Uh, Mullabuck was your oracle who was drunk a lot. Got a drunk one when there were four people dead, and then got a sober one when there were five or six people dead. Uh, Lifey was your empath drunk, uh, who got zeros. Y'all deduced all that because you're so smart. FM Jason was your innkeeper who protected. Uh, who got a protection in and then kind of led to the um, the explosion on that final night. So it's kind of good that nobody got executed uh, the day before because otherwise that would have been a game over. Emma was your klutz who picked Molly Book, clearing them. Uh, Slug was your dreamer who picked Molly. Molly Book was like cleared like three or four times over, so pretty cool, I guess. Uh, dreamt Molly Book as the Oracle or the Marionette. Uh, Demeta was your king, uh, and y'all don't respect the crown very much because you nope. went after Demeta. Nope. Um, Demeta was also, despite what Demeta might say, how mean, was the red herring, um, and uh, Sivan Im immediately picked Demeta and Maya, got a yes. Sivan then picked uh, Monica and Slug, got a no. Picked Malachan and Lifey, got a no picked West and Emma and got a yes. And that was your game of Garden Party. Hope y'all had fun. An excellent time, Tyler. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, thanks for having me here on the Connecticut stream. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Maybe we'll yeah. do it again sometime. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I haven't burnt y'all out, I mean, yeah, I'd love it. You have, you have a good amount of energy, which I'll admit, usually at 10 or 11 o'clock at night, I don't have anymore. So it's great. Well, you know, uh, to... To rip off your brand loyalty, I go to a Wendy's. I get myself a Frosty. I get me a, what are they, they come with four chicken nuggets now. Yep. Uh, I get some of those. And, uh, you know, yeah, I'm good to go. I'm trying to find my Wendy's wig. I can't find it, though. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm going to go and say goodnight to chat. Uh, thank you, everybody. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Oof. Frosties are pretty good. All right, let's see if I can find my Wendy's paraphernalia for the final bit. There we go. Oh, and I had the You Died beanie ready to go. I didn't use it. So dumb. Y'all can thank Tori for this one. Did my head grow? What the hell happened here? I think my head grew. That doesn't add up. I know this is riveting television. Just bear with me a second. There we go. All right, there we go. Uh, it was a good sweep tonight, guys. We had a whole good sweep. I'm excited. Haven't had Wendy's in ages? I don't know how that's possible. How could you not have had Wendy's?